Hello from Island Outdoors 1. Today we're going to look at a knife from K-Bar and it's a large three blade stockman. So what we have here is the K-Bar number 1100 and this knife was made between the 60s to 2000 somewhere in between there and it originally sold for around $25 so let me back out here and there's our nickel silver shield with the K-Bar name you can see we have nickel silver bolsters round ones and you see we have brass liners on each side of the carbon steel springs and if you notice there are two layers of brass on this side and uh, that's because K-Bar didn't make this knife and I believe this knife was made by Camillus and it's carbon steel and it has a full flat ground blade with a small nail neck I'll show you the blade tang K-Bar 1100 made in USA and uh, just a super nice blade has some patina and age to it been sharpened a little bit and I bought this knife on uh, the big auction site and uh, just a nice knife these handle scales are plastic Delrin and this one has a nice brown dark brown and tan color to it and you can see it has some texture to it it's uh, has like a peach seed jigging and it's kind of like molded to a different contour there it's not perfectly flat uh, but I like the plastic Delrin although it's not fancy like bone it is tough and it is durable and it holds up and you can see we have brass pins holding the covers or handle scales on brass center pin one of our secondary blades we have a sheep's foot blade excuse me a spay blade trusty spay blade and then here we have our sheep's foot blade and all of these blades are carbon steel so they sharpen up easy and they hold a edge decent decently and they will form a patina and uh, this knife was really dirty when I got it and I, I planned on using it so I scrubbed it right up and I used a scotch bright pad to get some of the dirt and grime and that also removed some of the patina and it does leave scratches as you may be able to see in the camera it does leave fine scratches but like I said this is a user if I were to buy this as a collectible or you know for an investment or something I would not clean an antique knife uh, uh, I believe they're more desirable to collectors in their original condition so I'll leave that up to the collectors to decide how they want to clean the knives but where I planned on using this I got it it was used and it was dirty inside and out and I scrubbed and cleaned and oiled and sharpened it and and the blade on mine had some side-to-side -side wobble and what I did was crudely I just put this on my 
my vise has a little anvil spot. I put that on there and I took a ball peen hammer and lightly tapped on the the little spr uh, the little pin. Uh, you may be able to see the end of it right there. And that what that did was tighten the knife back together fairly well. And uh, it also kind of mushrooms ahead of that pin over a little bit to keep it from spreading apart again. But uh, you can see it has a little gap in between that spacer and the blade. But uh, it's still a beautiful knife and it's got years of use left in it. And uh, I'm happy to have it. A nice old K-Bar made in USA. You don't, you don't see these made new anymore and it's a shame because I bet people would buy them if you saw this in a store. You could buy a brand new American made pocket knife. I know I'd think about buying one, but I just wanted to share that with you. The K Bar 1100. So, have a good day, everyone.